Things that will make your life with a newborn so much easier, part six. Let's talk diaper changing. I'm about to give you a life-changing trick. Mamas, you know that moment when you're about to change your baby's diaper? You open the diaper and it happens. Sometimes you get soaked, the baby gets soaked, the changing pad gets soaked. It happens to the best of us. But did you know there's something that you can do to prevent that? It's as simple as this. Grab a wipe and rub it right above the diaper by the belly button. And then give the baby a few seconds before you open the diaper. That little bit of cold will help them to release anything they have left in their bladder, which will prevent everyone from getting wet and making for a happy baby and a happy mama. Like and follow for more tips and tricks on how to make your life easier with a newborn. Seven items to pack in your hospital bag for the newborn, including one that most hospitals will not let you have. Swaddle blankets. Two out of ten recommend. The hospital will give you a bunch. You all know the ones I'm talking about. The only reason to bring one is for cute pictures. Cozy going home outfit. Ten out of ten. I like these sleeper sets from Sally Baby because they cover their hands, which are like razor blades, and their feet. Both of my girls came home in one of these. A soft hat. Six out of ten. Give you a newborn hat at the hospital, but they're scratchy in my opinion, so I bring my own. Water wipes. Eight out of ten. Learned my lesson the first time. They gave generic wipes at the hospital that gave her diaper rash so for this one I brought my own. Burp cloth 4 out of 10. You can definitely use one of those hospital blankets as a burp rag but I like to have something that's a little bit thicker that absorbs more. Baby Aquaphor 9 out of 10. Most hospitals don't provide you with any kind of diaper cream. I've always used this since day one on both of my girls and they've never had a rash. That's a fire. 10 out of 10 recommend. Your hospital is baby friendly which most of them are these days. They will not let you have and definitely will not provide you with a pacifier. So if you want to use one Worried about everyone getting all up in your new baby's face during every holiday gathering this year? I got a solution for you. Instead of showing up holding the baby or the baby in their car seat, because inevitably this is what is going to happen. <gasps> Can I hold the baby? At the car, transfer the baby from the car seat into a baby wearing carrier. This way you can politely say, oh, he's very comfortable. I'll just keep him in here. Please tell me I am not the only parent who just discovered this about sleeping and newborn. I am on my fourth kid. My fourth kid. And I just learned this about sleeping and it would have just saved me so much if I had known about this earlier. Of course I learned this from taking care of babies who knows everything about newborns. But she was talking about the difference between quiet sleep and active sleep. This is quiet sleep and this is active sleep and it's something babies do 50% of the time. I would hear my babies do this and just assume that they were frustrated and want to be picked up so I would pick them up but in actuality I was waking them up. See here he is right back asleep when I left him alone. So always give it a few seconds. These are a few things that I've learned in my first three weeks with a newborn. No days look alike. What may work on your baby one day probably won't work the next day. It probably won't work the next hour, the next minute, the next second. She was all about a passy calming her down yesterday, and today, she don't want nothing to do with that fake boob. If you can't get your baby to calm down, don't take it personal. You're not a bad parent because your baby is crying. Sometimes babies just fuss, and because you can't calm them down, it doesn't make you bad at what you're doing. Just keep trying things. If your baby won't stop fussing, she may want to lean over your shoulder for two seconds to calm down and then stare at the wall for three minutes. You just have to keep trying things, and eventually they will go to sleep. I can't tell you how many nights I have repeated that to myself. They will go to sleep, eventually. Sometimes bed sharing happens and it's better for the bed sharing to be intentional rather than accidental so prepare yourself for that on that same note don't beat yourself up for going back on things that you said you wouldn't do i swore up and down that we would not bed share but sometimes it's necessary educate yourself prepare yourself and don't beat yourself up lastly and honestly the most important Put your oxygen mask on first. You can't provide the best care possible for your little one if you're not providing any type of care for yourself. Lean on your support system, know your limits, and know when to ask for help. So just keep repeating to yourself, no day looks alike, just keep trying things, don't beat yourself up, and put your oxygen mask on first. You got this, mama. Sometimes when they're like that, again, can you see they've got a nice open tummy like that, and then you can just yeah wiggle and dance their bottoms and it's just it's giving them some movement when they're not crawling when they're not walking around actually they need a bit of help with that yeah. movement he's so tummy. happy so it just <laughs> just becomes you sort of fiddle and dance you can be a dancing baby <laughs>
And then you can see as you work through, can you see he just then hangs his legs wow. down? Wow. I've, ne I've never seen him that relaxed. Mm -hmm. He's happy. Oh my goodness. He's actually just, oh, yeah. just going into that, that, yeah. um, that movement. So long. Well, yeah. they get very squashed up when they're inside, and especially, you know, if they're long babies and they're squashed into yeah. small uterus, it takes them some while wow. to open out. So just, you know, just intermittently through the day, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just kind of just give them a bit of a helping hand through their tummies and keep mm. things moving. He's so happy.